But let's start briefly by looking back at last week. Obviously, a, a cracking win in the FA Cup. What can you take from that into the league now? A um, bit more confidence, you know. We've gone four games now, three wins and a, and a draw. Um, you know, the, the confidence always comes with, with results, um, particularly when you go away to someone like Salford where... You know, we, we probably were, were the underdogs in the game. Salford hadn't lost for 10 games um, and everything that's coming with Salford at the moment. So, you know, to go there and get the result uh, away from home again, where, you know, our form is, is particularly good. Um, you know, we're going away again. So, you know, it gives us a bit more bit more of a boost. A lot of people say, ask me what, you, what I think after the first 10, 11, 12 games of the season. Obviously, 11 gone, this will be the 12th. Yeah. So how would you assess your season so far? Um, a little bit inconsistent. You know, we haven't really got a consistency together other than, you know, we're hoping that we've started that now with the last four games. Um, we sort of, you know, won, won, won a game, drawn a game, lost a game, then won a game, lost a game. Lost, we lost two, which, you know, Manchester and Chorley, which... You know, it was a poor week for us, but then we've responded. So, you know, a bit inconsistent, which which we know. Um, I think you know, getting used to everything has, has taken us a, a little bit of time to to do that. Um, but the consistency in the last you know four games has been there: three wins and a draw. So, we've got to try and maintain that. Um, after the Chorley game, like I said, I I, I had a chat with the players about the mental side of it of you know of, of we're capable of, of picking up results um, in this league week in week out um, and we've since the chat we've done that so you know hopefully we continue doing that um, we know what the game is on on Saturday at Harrogate it's a local derby there they're going particularly well and, and scoring a lot of goals and playing well and you know so we're gonna have to be at our best um, in the local derby against them to, to go and get a result. It seems in this division you've got the footballing sides and you've got the sides that maybe, let's say, don't pass it around quite in the style that you maybe look for from your side. Where do you think Harrogate fit in that? Well, they're a passing side. You know, there's there's no two ways about that. They're, they're, there's no doubt. You know, playing on the three G or whatever you want to call it at the AstroTurf every other week is an advantage. There's there's, there's no two ways about that. Um, but. We're not going to look at it that's an advantage for them. We're going to take it as a challenge. We're going to train on it today and tomorrow. Um, so we've got to be ready for it. Um, it's it's no coincidence that you know your Maidstones and your Suttons have come through to where they have um, and still playing on, on the, the 3G and, and doing well. And I think Sutton may be sitting top or second in the, in the league above us now. And um, So I don't care what people say, that there's the advantage there. Of, of playing on it every every other week and training on it every week, um, when I'm not a fan of it, I've said that before because I don't think it's a true game of football. I really don't. Um, but it is what it is. We've got we've got them and we've got Tamworth, um, and I think they're in the top six as well as we speak. So, you know, it's a challenge for us again. And and we've talked about the challenges ahead this season, and and going to play on three G is another challenge for us. How different is it? Because obviously a lot of people won't have played on both or, or found out what the differences are. So can you simply tell us what the difference is? Well, I, I, you just don't you just don't get a true run of, of, of the ball. It's, to, it's totally different. Um, you know, on, on grass, if, if the ball doesn't go to feet, then you know, nine times out of ten, you, you, your player can still get to, to the ball. You know, when it's when it's on this three G, you've got you've got no chance. So. You know your, your accuracy of passing has got to be a, a lot better than what probably what it is on grass. Um, you tend to find on on this that if a, you put a ball down the sides that it will run out of play in, in, in um, on grass where it'll probably stay in play uh, on 3G and and you know like I say when you train on it and, and play on it all the time then you, you get more used to that. So we're, we're hopefully in the next two days going to be be seeing those type of things in, in our training sessions we're going to be putting on and you know we go there and, and, and do exactly what we what I've just talked about you know um, you should pass the feet anyway shouldn't you so make sure make sure your passing is more accurate. We've heard before as well about the surface how it can affect the players joints older players particularly always a question mark about John Parkin when it's a 3G pitch so yeah. how are things looking? Um, yeah you know we, we, we're hoping John's going John's to be fine to to, to start on on Saturday, um, you know he, he played at, at Sutton last year, so you know we're not we're not really seeing seeing a problem there. He'd rather not. Uh, we'd rather him not. Um, but um, you know we know 
is a is a big uh, is a big plus for us and. You know, John's the one who, who's in the side to get the goals for us. Um, and certainly coming on the back of two goals last week, you know, he's going to want to play anyway. So um, we're, uh, we'll wait and see, but, um, you know, I think everything should be fine. And how's Michael Rankin? Um, still waiting on, on results for him, but again, he's, he's seen the doctor this afternoon. So we're hoping those, those results are positive. And if they are, then, you know, Rank should be, should be available as well. If they're not, both Parkin and Rankin, what are your alternatives? Well, I mean, alternatives are depending on what, what, uh, how we're going to play, whether it's four three three or five or four four two or whatever we decide. Um, you know, we got we got Louis obviously, Louis Almond, and we got Amari, Morgan Smith, and then we've got Kane now, who, who you know came on and gave us something again again last week. So, you know, Kane Kane's been coming on and and doing particularly well. Um, so, you know, it's um, it's nice to have him there. So he, again, he's he's another option. We've got Moki back, um, who's been training all week. You know, maybe the the surface is suit someone like Mokes as well. You know, with his his, um, his close control of the ball and he's able to run with the ball, it, it's perfect for him really. Um, so you know, he's he's another option. I'm not saying maybe to play up, up top, but maybe in behind or something like that. Um, so we have we have got options. Now you've mentioned Harrogate. Being a derby, twenty miles away, but obviously no historical significance as such to, to the two sides playing each other. So, how do you see this in a, in a derby sort of sense? I just see it plain and simple, and that you know we know if we go and beat them, then you know we we we're five points behind them. We know if we don't, then we're eleven points behind them, and you know we go in um, we're going into obviously a lot more games left, but it, it it's it's better being five points behind than eleven. We're stating the obvious. Um, but we've got to go there and get a result. We've got to go and show show what we're about. Um, Harry Gutt will look at it that um, they're above us in the league at the moment, which you know a couple of years ago they would they were only a dreamt of something like that. They'll want to put one over on us as as the team that have been you know the league side that have been there and and done it, and and they they want to turn turn us over. So I've got to make sure as, as manager of York that they don't. Um, we've got to go and show what we're about. Um, I know Simon Simon Weaver very very well. He played for me when when uh, I was manager at Tamworth. Um, obviously, you know they're doing doing well this season, but it can all change. It can all change. You know they've had a good start. Um, we've had an okay start. Started to pick up, and we've got to make sure we continue that. Thank you. Where are you training on the pre G Gary in York? Sports Village. Yeah, yeah. Grateful to them for letting you use the facility. Yeah, yeah. I think it's um, you know, it's always nice to have the facility not too far from from uh, from the ground either. So we haven't got to travel too far to to use the facility um, and just and just get used to it. Like I say, you know, um, I think it's important we get on it for a couple of days. There's no there's no two ways about that. Rather than going on it, mm. you know, not not going on it at all. So uh, yeah, so grateful to them. Yeah.